achieve it. Mm. Like, I think it's all a work. I think it's like what there. There are a few you things. Think it's that, a big troll. I think it's all been a troll. Uh, it started as a troll. Maybe some mental patients believe it, but they got to be very few and far between. I think there's some websites and uh, people on YouTube that are making money. They're getting a lot of hits. They're making money, so they're like, yeah, flat fucking earth, motherfucker. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'll sell anything. Is he the guy that's like the truther <laughs> behind it? Like the uh, No, there's a few the guys. The, there's this Netflix. Mark Sargent guy who was on that uh, Behind the Curve documentary. Okay. And then there's, uh, there's a few of them that love the attention. They love that they are the go-to guy. Mm -hmm. they, people go, oh, can I get a picture with you? Yeah. It's like you're the flat earth guy. It's your life now. Yeah. So you're never going to say it. It's not flat. Yeah. You believe in that guy has he has a book too, like the guy the guy. They all it. seem to have fucking so it's, books. So it's self published. Based on nothing. He did a, a thing with with, yeah. with yeah. Sherrod. Yeah. Everything self published now. Yeah. yeah. So I I did a race was with Sherrod and they had him on there and I said oh, I, shit. I was like I don't okay let's say you're right what difference does it make Oh that's a great tack to take. I go, yeah, okay, you're right. Now what? what, what he, and so what he was trying to explain is that if this is not wrong, if this is if they're lying about this, then it it corrupts everything, everything that we know. Ever and known. I go, that, that's, that's what I was saying. True, yeah, that, it's, not necessarily it's, 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 right. Not at all. Look, the Kennedy thing. We didn't know that until now. It it didn't destroy space <laughs> continuing as we yeah, know it. If, if you believe like, this conspiracy not theory, away, nothing changed. You believe every <laughs> conspiracy theory if you believe yeah. this one. It's and they do. Like, yeah. like, that's what I've figured out in the time I've been checking this out, which, like I said, it's hilarious. I, I, I look at both sides. I look at the staunch flat earthers that, like, there's no fucking telling them any different, and they have their theories. And, and like, the Truman Show is part of, like, the canon of it. You know? Right, right. Like, that, well, he hit the end of it. They even go with the dome. Yeah. They even yeah. go with the dome, which totally, to me, throws the whole thing out of whack. <sighs> like, like a flat earth or something, maybe, I don't know, and even that, no, not maybe. I'm not saying maybe, but some people would say maybe. <laughs> I am so not even willing to entertain this bullshit. But then you put a dome over the top of it, who did that? Yeah. You know what kind of a contract that is? Well, you, you know the materials that, alone? To keep that a secret. To keep yeah. a dome and To keep a, a dome a secret? I can't keep my windshield clean on a brand new fucking car. Who's washing the dome? Uh, it's all just a, a big conspiracy by Big Globe. Big Globe. <laughs> yeah. You know? Right, right. The globalists. I, literally globalists. Right. I, know, yeah, I have one of those. Snow domes. I have that whole ring <laughs> ring security thing. Yeah. So, every, you know, if you have it, every time somebody steals a package, they post it. Oh, yeah. I There's get always that. people going, well, well, well alerts. nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. So they just caught this guy. Who was stealing Amazon packages because he, they just kept posting and posting, and they show him. There's a video of him. The cops going to get him. How do you not know that's a ring? Camera I know there? they're everywhere now. They don't. They don't like how, care. Like walk up backwards. I, put I a think some people pull a hoodie over their yeah, face. Yeah, then it's conspicuous. Moon walk up to him, man. Yeah, I had a guy. I, I saw this guy. He was on my block, and he took packages. And I go, I knew the house, and I was like, Oh shit! You know Charles? He goes, what? Give me the fucking package. Yeah, give me the package, <laughs> asshole. Get your ring camera right here. I get that shit, too. 100 pound ring camera. Like, oh, there's been uh, activity in your area. I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh, shit. So I look, and it's like, eh, it's closer to Mineola. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the uh, Citizen app? <laughs> Which one's that? Citizen, uh, it tells you the 911 activity in your area. Oh, really? Oh, uh, dude, like, uh, man swinging at traffic. <laughs> like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. feces thrown on 34th oh, good, Street. Good. Yeah. I feel like I derailed the whole flat. My point was, if they, no, I, if they can catch an Amazon dude, <coughs> yeah. how do you keep a dome? Yeah. How do you keep a dome secret? There's never been any pictures of the edge of the fucking thing, the edge of the earth. Well, and NASA has to be in on it, right? NASA's lying. <laughs> they have no actual evidence that NASA has lied. But they just say things. And that's what their whole thing is based on. Just saying shit. Like, gravity doesn't exist. It's not a real thing. It, that's, is that oh, a thing yeah, that's too? what they say. And then you go, well, why? I Look, 
There, it, it's something. But you climb. Oh, really? That's great. <laughs> they'll just say that, and I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay. Oh, really? There's no argument. Oh, really? Isn't an argument. <laughs> You're gonna believe that? It's shaming you. To you. These aren't arguments. They're <laughs> statements. A big part of their thing is like, is supposedly like, if you look at maps, then nothing ever comes. Is it west across Antarctica? Oh, really? Is that? Yeah, that like, you know, if it was a, because they say it's a disc yeah, instead of a sphere. What's up or what? Right. Yeah, and that like, it has to go like that. I, but but it's like quickly debunked by. You know, I, I have the one question, I've, and I've brought this up so many times. I was ready, like, and I still am. I think at some point I'm just going to bring a check in. I'm going to bring one of my checks in and, and leave the name blank and make it out for $1 million. I, I swear to you. I'm just going to present this. I will give anyone one million dollars. I have it. I really do have a million dollars that I could give away. You could have did this with fifty grand. Right? Probably could have, but it's more of an impact. <laughs> Let's be that honest. Really is cool. You could do it for five grand. That Actually, really is cool. You, again, punch up, it. punch up the flat Earth map. <laughs> flat Earther map. You can like if they hit the dome. Is that what it is? That fucking dog. Is no, this is so easy. This isn't even a big involved thing. This is an easy million dollars. If your whole theory on the flat earth is right, you are walking away with a million bucks. Alex Jones is crazy ass put it out there that he'll he'll fuel the trip for somebody to go to the edge. To go west until they hit something. Mm -hmm. uh, they hit something. And, uh, and Eddie Bravo was like, "Yeah, but you're going to think you're going west, but actually GPS is curving you There's up. All, the whole they time. all have that bullshit. There's always... Here's the flat earth map. This is the one that's widely accepted by all the flat earthers. And it has to be because there needs to be something to keep people from seeing the edge of the world. It's been, we've been here for what? Human beings on this planet for- uh, 200,000. Yeah, a couple of hundred thousand years as real people. Yeah. Uh, and no one's ever seen this edge of the earth because Antarctica, if you look, isn't just an island like it looks like on a globe. Where is Antarctica? It's, 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 it's all like, around the edge. Oh, that's, you know oh, the white is, the edge? is Antarctica. It's an ice wall that keeps you from seeing. It's like White Walkers. Yeah, the, it's like, right, yeah. it's like fucking Game of Thrones. The, the old gods. So that's it. Here's the only thing I have, and they always say people are lying to you, people this, people that, other thing. On a globe, what is the place on the globe where you can travel the furthest? The equator. The equator is the widest point on the sphere that is the Earth. Okay. Now, on their version, the equator is Super about short, yeah. midway between the North Pole, which is right at the top, right. center, and Antarctica, which is the rim. Goes around. through South okay. America. Right. So the equator is in the middle somewhere. There you go. That's around the equator. Right. Now, if you circumnavigated that, it would be a certain distance. Right. Now, if you skirt Antarctica, which people have done, they have sailed around Antarctica, which do that now, yeah, show that. There it is. You're in the water. You got Antarctica off to the right. All right. You go you all the way around the it. Distance. Yeah. The distance mm. is longer, much longer, yeah. going around Antarctica than it is the equator. Now, this isn't something people have said or lied about. It's things people have done. People have navigated <laughs> the South Pole. People have navigated the equator. They There's a set distance. Anthony, you can't lie about that. Anthony, they got you. <laughs> they got you so I in am this. so it's fucking... fucking <laughs> so if you can Breathe, explain Anthony. to me, all you got to do is explain to me that that distance is shorter than that distance, and I give you a million dollars. That's it. That's all you got to do. Wait, they don't have to hit the oh, dome? Do we have to do... They don't got to hit the dome. That's hard. I'm not hitting a dog. A million dollars. Why the fuck is that longer than that? It's all I need. I got to explain it. I hand over a million bucks. I got a um, one month Metro card if you hit the side of the dome. Of the dome. <laughs> Loaded. Just the side. Got Listen, it yesterday. I, yeah. I, I know a guy to do a hit for five grand. Right. You don't need a million. <laughs> yeah. A million bucks. <laughs> we can bash some So here's the thing if you, if you give the guy a million. Yeah. We can get another five and take him out, and then you get the million back. Exactly. <laughs> I get. 
kill two thousand. I, 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 I will give you a million dollars. That's a nice party. Yeah. You could kill two thousand people with them. Oh yeah. Uh, you think of all the the flat Earth fucking propaganda you could get with a million dollars. You could spread the word. You could oh, the, the YouTube ads. Fucking anything you want to do with my million dollars. All you got to do is show me why that is longer than the equator. And this, like I said, people have done it. It's not something that only NASA has done or the secretive thing. People have gone around the equator. People have gone around Antarctica. There is a set distance there. You know this guy right now is watching the show and he has, oh, yeah. he has a he's, protractor that he's, he's like, working it out. it out. A million dollars. Figure it out. It's a million bucks, my friend. Well, let me, let me ask you this. But I get the feeling that if you, they could prove it to you, you would go with it. Like if, oh, if, if God, they, prove it to yeah, me. If yeah. They prove it, you would go with Why it. Why wouldn't I? If something could be proved to me, like, like science and common sense and logic dictates a spherical Earth. That's that's it. And what is the motivation of every single scientist to lie to every single person? They have the best answer to this. This was the most creative answer I've heard to that question. You go, so what's the end game here? Well, who's lying? That's what I said. I said. It's like, don't ask me. I'm not the one lying. Who? <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> yeah. Ask the fucking scientists. Ask yeah. NASA. Ask Don't the ask liars. That's, uh, I'm not the one lying. I'm like, God, listen, that's good. God God works in mysterious ways. Yeah, that's another one you could you fucking get a banger. throw out so there. What's the biblical thing that they throw? There is a biblical thing to this. I think they want... Speaking they, of science. One of their end games is that um, they're trying to keep you from knowing the that truth. there either is or isn't a God. Or they want their interpretation of what God is and what he created. Uh, and for some reason, the sphere is something that they want you to believe was created. Uh, and if they change it to a flat earth, then all of our beliefs are shot to shit, like you were saying earlier. Everything, and, religion. And, also that, and then how does the sun and the moon work in, in that? It's bizarre. That also makes no sense. The, the, the sun is only 32 miles wide, mm -hmm. and it's, it's only a few thousand miles up. It's in the dome. In, within in the, the dome. dome oh. Over the flat plate of Earth. And it's over here, and, and like on the Tropic of uh, Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer, depending on yeah. what the season is, or so the, the equator. The, 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 and it rotates oh, So it rotates like a, like a turntable. Right. And, and that's how you get day and night. But it doesn't work either because the light would, would not it's just not a straight it doesn't go half. terminator of right. day and night. Right. It's, right. It's, it would be a curve and yeah. it doesn't, and how, how's, it doesn't how's the, work. How's the moon out during the day sometimes and all that shit? Exactly. It's just on like two lazy Eclipses make no two lazy sense. Susans that are just Right, going. right. <laughs> and it just rotates like this. And it, it oh here it is. Here it is. That's that's it. Now look at the curvature of the beam of the sun. That's not how light Travels. The terminator between day and night is not a curved line like that. But it's not just that. Light doesn't travel that way. So right. when you see a star, the light from the star is traveling in your eyes. That's why they call it light years. Right. So it doesn't stop at a circle. It no, it keeps going. And that's another thing. You, you would have to have some of the light from the sun actually going further and stopping on the terminator. Uh, and then shorter distance. Just arbitrarily. Anthony. And, and it would have to reflect and bend. The light would have to bend. If you're seeing a sunset, why in this scenario would you ever see a sunset? It's in the sky going around, right? There would never be a time where it goes below a horizon that doesn't exist. So you would see the sun constantly. It never makes sense, their models. And you never. just don't get it, dude. Million bucks. <laughs> I will give you a million fucking dollars. I'm going to arbitrate the million. <laughs> I like 10 to, G's. Yeah. <laughs> just give me 10 G's. Hey, just a little, little something on the <laughs> I'm going to arbitrate it and then we'll. A little something there. Bob has. Uh, let me get my mouse. Hold on. Because we got some phone calls. Uh, let me gear up. Bob is looking to claim a million bucks here. Mm -hmm. He's got the answer. Uh, Bob, what's up, my friend? Yo. Yeah, I hear you laughing, or what are you doing? Bob? Are uh, you ready? You ready for the answer? I want to hear this. All right, I got the answer. Are you there? Yes, yes. What's up? All right, so you're looking at a map, right? You're looking at the map. 
So just pretend with me for a second. You're, you're standing them up and you're looking down at the map. The map's on the ground. Now you're looking at a cylinder. Antarctica is at the top of the cylinder. It's the same size at the bottom and the top. You're just looking down at the cylinder. Antarctica is on the top, and the little equator is in the bottom. Huh? So he's Butter. saying that the world is a cylinder, dude. No, that's... no, 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 no. That, that's just the uh, yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. But that doesn't <laughs> make sense. Yeah, I'm as crazy as the flat earthers. That's what I'm saying. First of all, it still doesn't make sense that the uh, circumnavigating the equator would be uh, less of a distance than circumnavigating the Arct Antarctic. Yeah, at the, at the top of the cylinder. Ah. Uh. And it's not There's a no cylinder. Answer. They're saying it's, it's flat. Yeah, cylinder's three-dimensional. This is two-dimensional. Yeah, they're not right? saying it's flat. So it's all the yeah. same the same distance because it's a cylinder? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the top. The top. It could be an inch thick or a, or a three inches thick. It, it's the same same. So there's another edge. On the top and the bottom. So there's another edge at the North Pole where the cylinder yeah, there's, stops? Yeah, there's another edge. All right, that's yeah, fucking. We're, we're, we're going, we're, we're going I, crazy here, I man. I can't believe you understand. found something even more retarded than a flat earth. <laughs> Cylindrical I found earth. Something even better than that. Uh -huh. I got Donald Trump drinking a beer with Stone Cold Steve Austin on WWF when he claimed during the Kavanaugh meetings that he never drank beer. That is true. I remember that seeing. That is true. He drank a, a beer with Stone Cold. I got the president in the hot seat. <laughs> You're just full <laughs> of fucking conspiracies <laughs> and information, my good friend. Thank is, you. Is he a flat earther? Or is this, no. Oh, he's a cylindrical no, earther. He's a cylindrical earther. <laughs> Just looking for a milli. Any way you can get it. Yeah, I, I can't. There's something in the way of uh, being able to click out of the phones. It's like a little pop up ad that came up on my uh, screen. I don't know what the fuck that is. But uh, yeah. there we go. Let's. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm talking to you, man. I want to sit back and watch the show. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. Do that. That was <laughs> Have nice. Have a good one. We uh we We're like a caller try to get oh, yeah, out I'm of a done. call like yeah. okay oh, if you guys are good he's like I'm done no thanks is that uh, David what's calling now he's calling in now to say let's Skype right now oh, let's do it okay so let's fucking do it you I heard need to we'll hear somebody so David Weiss one million dollars on the table David Weiss Dang. I put a million bucks up so David could be a a future millionaire right now. Uh, David Weiss is um, at the Flat Earth Podcast on Instagram, the FE Podcast on Twitter, and the website is theflatearthpodcast.com, available on Apple, Google Podcasts, or anywhere you find uh, podcasts. Uh, I've watched some of his stuff. He's uh, on YouTube and whatnot. He is uh, a Flat Earth guy. He believes in a Flat Earth. And I've watched some of his stuff on the reasoning um, Antarctica, these United Nations treaties that have made Antarctica off limits to anyone, anywhere, yet. Except the recent tourism there. Instead, as there's a lot of tourism that goes on there now, but they're saying that they barely let them on. Yeah, the like They get them there. You can walk a little bit. You got to stay on the path. You're not allowed to do anything. In North Korea. They show you fake pole. Potemkin Village. Right, right. Pole. And then you fucking, you're, you're off and running. <laughs> this is a penguin. But uh, <laughs> I would think more than the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot or anything, the real prize would be a picture of the fucking edge of the earth. Would be nice. So we've never seen uh, anything about. Oh, we got him. Here we go. David, uh, let's. There he is. David Weiss, how are you, my friend? I'm, I'm doing okay, man. You got you guys are going over so much elementary flatter stuff. It's elementary, amazing. Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> well, first, I want to tell you, your million dollars is safe. No flat earther is going to tell you that that is a shorter distance. What we will tell you is it's a much longer distance. The last person that tried to circumnavigate uh, Antarctica, the shoreline of Antarctica, was Captain Cook. It took him three years. He went almost 80,000 miles and didn't make it. You know why? Because the Earth is flat. Antarctica is the sh is the shoreline oh. and surrounds the world. You're telling and, me. And as far as you guys say, uh, no, that's what I'm telling you, absolutely. And uh, and as far as nobody is allowed to go below the 60th parallel, um, you know, 60 degrees south. You're not allowed to go there, and I can prove that. But that's to you. not true. No, I'm going to prove that to you. That's not true. A lot of flat Earth people. Let me let me let me say something. A lot of flat Earth people, and I've watched so many debates and arguments and and points that are made, just say things that just aren't true. You'll say people aren't allowed in Antarctica. They are. 
No, no, I agree with you. There, so here's the problem. You can say anything and then you can. Uh-oh. Shit. Maybe it's the satellite isn't working because it's on they, balloons. They're shutting them down. Rand McNally. Balloon they satellites. Them, they don't want them to talk. It take, can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. It takes hundreds of hours of research. There's a video. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's out there by Taboo Conspiracy 2 called, Sorry, Antarctica is Closed. You can find it um, on the Flatter Sun and Moon app. Um, but it's a 30-minute documentary about what it takes to go to Antarctica, and you will see that it is impossible to explore Antarctica. Now, now let me... Wait, let wait me, last thing. Last uh, thing. Okay, okay. Last thing. You guys, there's no I like a point-by-point uh, point exchange here. I don't yeah, like no, you saying that, and no. then I don't get to say, you say something else, and we lose track. Let me just say this <laughs> about Antarctica. Now, again... Yep. The I'm sure you've heard Occam's razor many times. The the you know sometimes the simplest, most easy to understand explanation is is just the way it is. But Antarctica, instead of saying it's protecting and guarding the edge of the Earth, is it maybe more logical that some restrictions to visiting Antarctica are based on this pristine area that people in other countries do want to keep that way? They don't want industrialization to invade uh, Antarctica. It's such a vast, uh, 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 lonely, uh, dangerous. dangerous place <laughs> that, that people just going there for pleasure isn't really as cool as the Bahamas. So this is what we're told. There's about 15 different tour companies that can take you there. They'll, they'll take you to the edge. They'll show you some penguins. They'll bring you outwards a little bit, you know, a little deep uh, away from the shore. And they'll say, oh, look, this is the South Pole, but it's just a pole stuck in the ground. No one's bringing a compass or anything. No one um, brings a compass. No, well, it doesn't matter because <laughs> compasses don't work down there because they're too far from the north. Um, when you said earlier, you said there's no. Wait, um, why is that? Why is why is it too? Why is it that a thing? I mean, you can't just point. say Let that. Me, I'm still trying to make my point about. Yeah, but you're you using points no, to make I'm, points, I, and I want to understand gonna, why the compass doesn't work. That, I will tell you in just a second. Right. You said that um, there's no photos of the edge of the Earth. It's not the edge of the Earth. It's the edge of our oceans, and there's millions of photos. Just Google Antarctica ice wall or ice shoreline. It's the it's the shoreline that surrounds our oceans. Wait, wait, okay. Antarctica I'm, is the I'm highest. the other land on side Earth. of it. With the other side of it, where there's it finally no, ends, and I guess there's the dome starts so, there. Hang on. How are the oceans I don't contained? Know. I don't know. Neither do you. It's pure it's speculation. But what we do know is yes. the shoreline of Antarctica is the highest land on Earth. You climb up the, this wall, you know, 200 feet high mostly, and then there, there's, uh, I forget how far it goes, it's a couple hundred miles to a mountain range that goes three or four miles into the sky. I'm not saying it's very way. foreboding and very well, dangerous well, on, and very uh, remote. But Nobody that doesn't knows mean it, there. it no guards one's allowed to the go. edge of the earth. It just means it's very cold down there. There's mm -hmm. a lot of ocean and, and water down there that yes. has frozen over the course of millennia. It doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's, it's remote and it's hid away because it's hiding the edge of the earth. Anthony, let's let's uh, uh, let's talk about the things that we can prove. We're not allowed to go to Antarctica, and anything past you know a few miles in in outwards or you know from the shoreline is all speculation. So let's not go there because neither you or I can. But give you're a just saying answer. that I guarantee that somebody over mm -hmm. the past few years has sailed a ship around Antarctica. It, you want to put a million dollars on it? Because I'll take I, that. No, I, my million dollars stands on the distance. Uh, yeah, which makes it, it, no it, sense. That is, makes that no is a sense long whatsoever. It's a yeah. shorter distance to circle Antarctica than it is to go around the equator. People have done it. It's documented. There's no, no argument. You're incorrect. We, I am we, correct. No, you're incorrect. Like Colin O'Brady correct. is the last one that supposedly crossed Antarctica. He went across the little peninsula. That's it. They showed us his route. He said that he was using uh, GPS, which doesn't work down there, or its compass. Um, it, it's it's nonsense when why, you take apart Why the story. does it not work? Low 62 degrees south, March 2018, Oyster 72 Catharsis 2 became the first yacht to sail There's around Antarctica below 62 degrees south. Uh, he recounts the extraordinary expedition. He sailed around the fucking thing. <laughs> Wait, Anthony, do you, come on. Do you, do you, anybody can write an article, right? No, see, you're, now you're no, just you discounting. No, 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 Why no, no, are you no, discounting I, listen, something? I want you, you to have discount nothing. things that they I don't have something. Let's, you have let's, nothing. Let's, they no, have, have something. Let, the pictures. <laughs> Lord, you then just say it's a lie. You turns. can't just show me no. it's a lie. 
show me that it's true. So if we can't he's do either. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You but cannot. You can't go. You, you, your, your, your. What you're saying is true. Is is a higher level. Your, the burden of proof is on you. Right. So like, let's, let's say, do I'm an things that we an, can prove. So let's, another let's, liar. I'm an, I'm an atheist. Listen. I don't have a problem being in God, but you got to prove the it. Captain of that ship's another in the long list of liars trying to perpetuate this fucking. If I if, if I say I got a dragon in the in the basement, I got to prove that it, because the propensity of go. my claim is 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 needs proof. Is, what all right, you say the, the Earth oceans. is spinning and orbiting and flying. Flying through space, prove it, because it looks flat and stationary to me. Every, okay. but but here here's what you do. If you don't have a picture of the Earth spinning around, which by the way there are, but again those are lies. Uh, there uh, there are are things that are affected by a spinning earth. There are things, I always bring up the analogy about toast burning in the kitchen. You don't need to see the burning toast. If you oh. smell it, the toaster's hot, there's crumbs. You can make a logical the, assumption the, the that the toast probability. has been burned. There are other things that were affected by the burnt toast. There are things right. that are affected in physics that are affected because oh, the earth spin, is yeah. a sphere and it's spinning and mass has gravity, all these things that you hang guys on. just come up with this, you just say so, no it isn't with hang on. nothing to base it on. Anthony, you have to let me speak ahead, a little I'm bit. I'm letting right? you go, go. All right, so Neil deGrasse Tyson says he doesn't even know what gravity is, okay? There's things that we can test. We have maglev trains that defy electromagnetism. They're not defying gravity. It doesn't defy Gra anything. So, it's using science to yeah. To uh, levitate. To can prove. we start? Can we just start with? Let's just start with what we can prove. Yes. The Earth, they tell us, is a ball twenty four thousand nine hundred miles around. Right. Okay. So there is a curvature formula for, to figure out the curve per mile. Do you know what that is by any chance? You've heard uh, it probably. Uh, it's, it? it's, it's uh, eight inches every fucking. Per, no, no, it's eight mile. inches per mile squared. Right. Because squared. the first, so at six miles, at three miles, the drop is six feet. At ten miles, it's sixty-six feet. This is agreed upon ball science. Okay. What we with our with our new uh, cameras, our, our super zoom cameras and lenses that have outgrown their lives, we can zoom in and see things that are a hundred miles away. We can see shorelines. If the are... elevation is no, 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 above no, no. that Hang on. formula. Hang on. Why can't no. you see Hawaii from LA? Why can't I'll, I'll you see you Hawaii why. from I'll LA? I'll tell you why. But LA listen. from Jersey. Tell me why. He's, he's, I will tell you why. Why can't I see two, Joe Rogan right now? There's two reasons. One, Rocky, because he's only he's one Rogan gym. tall he's and you gym. can't see him. One and even when you're right next to him. Rogan's in the okay. gym. That's why. So, so <laughs> listen. <Basement>. Swinging <laughs> a flat kettlebells. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, in the curvature formula, you can take there, – there's a there's an earth curve calculator. You put in the viewer height and the viewer distance, and it tells you how far you can see. A six-foot tall person standing on the edge of calm water, they're supposed to – the horizon – the water is supposed to drop away six feet at three miles so they should see a horizon line and no water beyond that we can see water for tens and hundreds you know, not only say hundreds but we can see water so far beyond that it's ridiculous there hang on but why there not hundreds is, there, because i'll tell you why because light the inverse square law of light uh says that every time you half half the distance the light is a quarter as bright so reflected light, light reflecting off something, can only travel so far. It can only push through the atmosphere. Like when you're in a pool, sometimes you can't see the other end of the pool just because of the density of the water. Well, the air is the same thing, and you can't see forever. Now, we'll see boats disappear over the horizon. Yeah, they disappear from the bottom up, but we've taken, we've done the same experiment. We've gone to um, like a Home Depot or a Lowe's that has a perfectly smooth floor, and we put a, a brick on the floor, and we put our, our, our camera right down the floor and we slide the camera away and the brick disappears from the bottom up, right? When the brick is completely gone, we stack more bricks on top of it and we can see the brick upper bricks, but we can't see the lower bricks. And that's without even atmosphere playing into this. We've done tons of experiments that show you atmosphere, the perspective, the angle of your eye, the resolution limits of your eyes make things disappear from the bottom up. 
Um, we saw the you seen the the famous picture across Lake Michigan where we see Chicago. It's like yeah, yeah. Miles. You see the yeah. tall buildings of Chicago, and you don't see the cars, or the bridges, right. or the sidewalks. Right, exactly. But on different days, you can see different amounts. So is the Earth flexing, or is it an atmosphere? How come you you out? how come you love talking about atmospheric? Uh, oh, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, diffusion and refraction when it's flat. But anytime anyone brings up any kind of diffusion or refraction on a curve thing to to further the curved argument, that's all horseshit. No, you no, can't a, see. You, you can only you see what's poking up over a curved oh, horizon. horizon. So if it's the curve and uh, the curve calculator and the viewer height and everything, we should only be able to see the very tops, the very tippy tops of the tallest buildings in Chicago. There was a day where we could see all the way down to the lower floors of all of the buildings. And we're told by the weatherman that it was a mirage. Well, we got on a boat with our super zoom camera and kept it in focus the whole way and went all the way across Lake Michigan and the buildings never disappeared. It's not a mirage. It's there. We can see uh, mountains. Now, now we have infrared uh, converted P1000, uh, Nikon P1000 cameras that cut through the fog, cut through the haze, and we're seeing things that are 500 miles away. Jay Tolan Media on YouTube, he's got amazing, amazing, impossible shots. Even if the Earth was 10 times the size and the curvature was that much less, he's seeing way farther than we can see. We and can see far? too far. I don't oh, think I, I don't think you guys ever everything I've I've heard about and read and looked at you guys never think of the scope of Earth how big it is this, you this always is are making you're always making comparisons with with tennis balls and a shadow on a wall and this the Earth is giant the curvature when you go wow you can't even see a curvature it takes a lot of horizon from a, a, a great distance to start even noticing a curve but you guys just blow it off you, you like, if I can't true. see it it's going, not curving you're yeah, going you're seeing this that's that's you're going that. there's a, a golf ball looks different to an ant than it does to a human being. These are program responses by Bill Nye, the science guy, and uh, and Neil deGrasse Tyson. Bill you, Nye. You are... I think Bill Nye's a fucking hack. He is an asshole. Fuck him. Hey, he, he, he I'm basing that. it on shit. Dude, I'm not parroting people. I do my own research. He, I he's... study. I know a lot about astrophysics. I know a lot about our own geology of this planet. And, and, and uh, what I've gotten uh, over the, the course of the years of doing my own research is that it is illogical to assume anything in nature would take on the form of a fucking flat disc and not what in nature is, is strength, a sphere. In, in a vacuum without gravity, liquid becomes a sphere. A spherical shape is a strong arch-like shape that is known, is known to be something that nature likes to do. It likes compressing itself into the strongest can we, uh, form, can we which stick is a to sphere. Things, can, we, can we just stick to things that we can prove right now? But you're there not is, proving anything. So hang on. I'm proving. You're telling that me we, that the guy on the boat around the Antarctic is lying. That's your proof? I'm no, saying he I'm has I'm saying pictures. I have no he proof has that he the, did the, it, the and you have no He's proof got the that boat. he didn't do it. That's proof. We, well, you know, yeah. I have a boat, and I went around Antarctica, too, and it was 80,000 miles. I have an yeah, article see, I can lying. show you. Show me website. pictures, show me a log, show, show me anything. Show me pictures of me next you're to You're lying. Next... You're lying. No, no. What I'm saying is that those are just stories that neither of us can validate or not yes, validate. Yes, it is. That's, That's the can't, point. You can't Isn't just blow point? off somebody right. doing the work, actually doing it, documenting it, and then no matter what he shows you to prove he did it, you just go, no, you're a liar. That's not an argument. That's let's just fin you finish, calling people let's liars. Finish, uh, let's just finish the, um, on my See, YouTube that, channel. That you can't do that. You can't I, do that. I have a question. I want to go point Come by on, point. Dave. And listen, listen, you can believe whatever you want. Belief is the enemy of knowing. Knowing takes effort, time, and critical well, thought. What are you guys I'm, doing? You're pointing we, your science at a fucking finish. destination that you want to get to. You're no. not. You're not being open-minded with your I'm science. True. You're I pointing it at flat Earth and throwing everything else away that negates it, and only confirming a flat Earth with what you cherry pick along and, the way. That's not hey, fucking this is, this is, science. Is, this is incorrect. You, you're not listening. I we am can, listening. 
You gotta let me finish the point because I've been go making ahead. the same like, point. You, gotta, you, gotta, you can't stop. I'm you can't being... just go. You just can't go. You're not listening because he doesn't agree. I listen. That, that he, we're listening to it. I'm, I, and so, honestly, I don't really give a point. fuck about any of this. <laughs> but, but to be honest, I'd like to know what you think and ultimately what how you got to this point. Right. Um, I fought it tooth and nail. I didn't. I, I said this flutter thing is ridiculous. Everyone and I'm gonna says this. I'm gonna debunk it. Right. So everyone's heard it. Just finishing the point, with our cameras, with the curvature calculation, height, everything, we can see too far. We can bring boats back into a focus that have apparently disappeared to our naked eye due to angular resolution. We can see too far. There is no curvature. Every test for curvature I've never has failed. seen. No, it hasn't. Right. So Every I, I, test I, I, for I'm curvature. Where, how about I'm, how about thousands of years ago when two poles were put in the ground and shadows were measured? Uh, that what that failed right. when what, the Greeks wait, figured out the so circumference hang on, hang on, of the on. Earth thousands Everyone, of years ago. I'm gonna I'm gonna address that's our next okay, point. Okay, go ahead. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna address that. So, um, right. So I'm telling you about the no curvature on my channel, D I T R H, or on the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app. Right. There's hmm. wait, there, there's a under the frequently asked questions. It says um, the FAQ questions. It says. Uh, where it says uh, um, no curvature, and there's there's a hundred experiments that you can watch and judge for yourself. Yes, they're on YouTube. It's just information. Judge it for yourself. Don't believe anything I'm saying. Judge it for yourself. So there is no curvature. Now let's get to Aristophanes. Did you know that Aristophanes? He's the one that figured out that the Earth, um, the Earth has uh, what size the Earth was with sticks and shadows, right? Right. All right, now, so now how it was 500 years ago, 5,000 years ago, whatever it was, doesn't matter. It was, okay, yeah, I forget a couple of grand. I forget, yeah, forget the, I forget the number. Um, in the same village, there were some famous mathematicians after him that wrote many books um, about math, and they never once mentioned Aristophanes. Okay, just li hear me out here. They never once mentioned. That's like writing a history of the Chicago Bulls and not mentioning Michael Jordan. Did you know that there's no mention of Aristophanes in any book anywhere ever until the mid 1980s? Okay, it's a fictitious story. Now I'm going to show you how the sticks and shadows work right now. All right. Okay. You got, you got two sticks right here, yeah. okay? Right? And if I have a light right here yep. above this stick, is there a shadow? No, it's no. noon, right, on the right, right. Uh, equinox. This yeah. stick over here, when the light is still over here, uh -huh. okay, this one has a shadow. Here's the light. Right. And here's the stick. This one has a shadow. Yeah, yeah, so I've, I've, I've heard two that. Beer can, put two beer cans on the table, put a light over one of them. One of them doesn't have a shadow, one of them does. Right. That means your table is a sphere, and we can calculate the diameter of it. It's nonsense. The diameter of the Earth is an assumption, okay? The equator is a – you were right before. The equator is the circle on the flat Earth that's halfway between the center and halfway between the Antarctic ice shore, yeah. okay? And that circle is 24,900 miles around. When you try to fly west 270 oh, yeah. degrees or 90 degrees, you know, east or west, you have to constantly correct – to the north to maintain that heading and people say well pilots don't do that that's bullshit because it's the same thing on a ball earth if you leave Cal uh, let's assume we lived on this fucking crazy ball right and great. you and you're, and you're gonna leave california right. heading uh due west 270 right. degrees okay the north pole is at the center right here we are this is north this is right. west as I'm going this way, I have to keep turning to maintain that compass heading. No, you okay? don't. You're flying yeah, wait, this on. way. You're not no, flying. Wait, wait. You're not flying next to the Earth like the old Universal Studios uh, uh, logo. You're you're this way. You're flying around. So so I've heard the the take where you need to keep nosing down to do that, but you don't because gravity is pulling toward the Let's center of that. the earth. So That's the something. plane stays level with gravity, perpendicular. Right. You're, you're, you're veering off the topic here. No, I'm saying uh, exactly uh, what you're saying. Well, no, no, what you say that we're flying around you know, the ball, right. that means you're going 24,900 miles around because if you're gonna follow that straight line on a ball, it's gonna bring you the circumference of the earth. Let's say you're one mile from the North Pole on a flat earth, one mile. Yeah. Okay, you hold your compass out. It points right to the North Pole. It's an actual pole. Let's pretend there's a pole there okay. and you can see it. 
right? It's pointing. You want to go west, yeah. right? You need to stay one mile from the North Pole all the way around to, to go west. And the same thing for east. 3.14 miles later, you're back to where you went and you circumnavigated the North Pole. Right, right. Okay. That's always been kind you of a kept fun turning thing to miles, do for explorers. Miles, 100 miles, 500 miles, 500 miles. It's the same thing. Now, here's the catch. When you get to the equator, halfway point uh, from the North Pole, then you don't have to correct to the north anymore. When you get farther, you should have to start correcting to the south to maintain that heading. But the ship's captains that have navigated in the Indian Ocean south of the equator that said they keep having to correct to the north no matter which direction they're going, okay? This leads to a flat earth, okay? But correcting in the north is the same. Doesn't prove flat earth, doesn't prove ball, ball earth. These are, this is how circumnavigation is done. Nobody has ever circumnavigated the Earth going south. They've gone from the United States over the top to the Middle East, to the Far East. That's uh -huh. easy. You can go from California around to Japan, to China. You can go from California the other way, all the way around, and continue all the way back. That is true. You can go over the top, which is just across the middle, um, and go back. But nobody has gone south and come up the other side, you ever, can't, anywhere. You can't cross Antarctica. You can't go uh, uh, south from, let's say, yeah, South America, and then hit Antarctica, and then traverse it, hit the water on the other side, and end up uh, on the other side why, why of the Why can't you fly right above. across it? Can't, can't do you fly? it. That's well, you can impossible. do it over the north. Right, it is impossible why? because the Earth is I, flat. I, the Earth I, is flat. I can't, I cannot fucking... Uh, believe that. I what what is heard of somebody going around so, the Earth so, hang on. that way? There are there are polar orbit uh, orbital satellites <laughs> that. Are, oh look, see, and he just yeah. laughed. Now what is what is your take on Fuck satellites? What's that guy? Space program. Everyone <laughs> yeah. lies, I guess. Okay, uh, I'm gonna so, let you speak, but. What we have seen, the technology we've garnered over the years because of the space program, satellites, GPS, the word G, uh, the letter G stands global. for global positioning. Ground, you ground. use this, you use this all the time. What is your explanation, flat earth uh, explanation for satellites, the space program and, and whatnot? So again, again, on this app, which is called the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock Plug app. It. I YouTube, got no problem. YouTube is hiding all of the good Flat Earth videos. You search Flat Earth and you can't find anything. But if you hit the Frequently Asked Questions button, there's a, there's a button on here that says... Um, it's not going great. It froze. I froze. Oh, there we go. Uh, there, there we, okay. So there, there, there's a button on here that says, what about satellites, okay? Uh -huh. and, and, uh, and, and the space programs. And it'll show you that NASA is the hot, largest pro the consumer of helium in the world, right? They admit, but they don't publicly tell you about it. They have 50 different satellite programs, okay, where they're launching satellites. Just search. Just You can Google it. Uh, Google a picture right now. Uh, NASA satellite balloon. OK, or, or Antarctica satellite balloons, they're launching these things that they can keep up there for years. They can control how high they go, how far they go. Um, and, and they're they're doing this all the time, but they're not telling you these things are crashing all over the world and people are filming them crashing. OK, so, so these are, OK, these so, are satellites. So you're saying helium balloons. balloons, helium yeah. balloons yeah. are what is being used to keep satellites up in the air. They're not in That's orbit. What? That is what's launching. There is no such thing as a satellite falling around the curve of the Earth and coming up the other side. That is just a pure fantasy uh, and, and nonsense. But here, and how, are we, how are you proving so, that? How are you so, proving that? Yeah, yeah. How here, is that discounted? I mean, I, I, so, so we have supposedly thousands of satellites in space. Can somebody pull up a Google shot? Just Google um, photos of satellites in space, and you will just get cartoons, and you guys will agree that they're just cartoons. There's not a single photo of a satellite in space. Okay, not there, one. There, but there, there, there were many satellites. When, well, let's, let's put it this way. When the space shuttle went up to repair the Hubble telescope, there was oh. pictures of, you can't just roll your eyes. <laughs> Rolling your eyes I, is I'm not sorry. an argument. I know, I know. And, and they, I have they the argument. Grappled, they like grappled with the, with the arm, the Hubble, brought it in, repaired it, and deployed it again. That is pictures of a satellite in space. Yeah, is space again, fake? I would tell you. I would tell you to Google um, 
a NASA hoax, but you just pull up a bunch of propaganda. Okay, the uh, International Space Station. Um, we've seen plenty of photos. We've seen interviews with uh, various that, astronauts that have that come is back. The curve of the Earth, and it, so so. Well, hang that's on a, a fisheye lens, obviously. Look, uh, uh, it wants right, to get you. more picture in there. I understand when something's a fisheye lens for the sake of getting more in the shot than it is okay. to try to bullshit us about a curvature of the earth but i've seen plenty of pictures where uh the earth seems to have a, a quite a natural logical curve to it and things like this where they use a fish eye to fit more in it, if yes. you watch the ones that they claim are curve of the earth you just watch the video a couple seconds later all of a sudden it's bending the other way then it's flat well, then it's curved again yeah. it's because of the lens that they're right. they're using at so, the time but so we have sent up the uh, sent up um uh uh, balloons, hundred twenty balloon thousand feet GoPro with, a, with, it. with no, not a GoPro with non fisheye lenses, and it is flat. It is completely and How totally flat. How much altitude are you going to get? And by the way, hundred twenty thousand feet. I saw that clip, and you guys cut out the parts where it goes uh, convex. No, no, that's, a, that's a different clip. That's a different clip. That's with a fisheye lens. So, you know, as the fisheye lens moves up and down, it goes convex, concave. How about it, all the other pictures, though, from space that are pictures. that show it? Those are all fake. So, now, now you so say Google, NASA. Google oh, photos of Earth. But you say, Google photos of Earth. You, you say that uh, NASA is this, this hoax organization whatnot. What about other countries' space uh, uh, programs like... Russia, the Soviet Union had a space program before we did. Just what, what about it, China? Yeah. India has just started their foray into uh, the space program. Well, unsuccessfully, they, they yeah, cratered I mean, one into the moon, which was <laughs> pretty goddamn <laughs> funny. Real dot what has happened to our satellite? Put a real dot to, on the moon. Yeah. You used to be able to Google NASA hoax, What's bubbles in space. Uh, Listen, and yeah. and you would get all the videos. Now you get propaganda. This there's a NASA uh, space. It says are all the space agencies into into it on this app. Get the app, watch those videos, and then you'll know. When you say there's no proof, we have tons of proof. We have I astronauts no hanging proof. from wires, hanging from wires in a space station. Their hair is permed. You know they don't let women Pierce. with long hair the military but they let them in the space station have hair flying all over the place it would be disgusting up there and the the toilet in there did you ever look at the space station toilet we had one time they were trying to fit show something in the bathroom and the guy dropped a screw and it fell and nasa said oh we hit a pocket of gravity okay you know they're faking they're using virtual well, okay reality. but here's the thing you're using this app and you're saying all this information is in the app but the app the app and the phone that you're using is the technology that you're proving that it's a, the that it's a, a, a spherical earth so well, technology, my, my, so technology let, is a, but let's let's be honest so what is the end game why why is this important to notice and yeah. what's the ultimate end if game you're right. and if you are right let's yeah. say you're right What's right. what's the end game? I heard you guys earlier, and my answer is going to trigger you either in the weather, which other way well, it goes. Give it if a I shot. Say, Pitch it. If, if I say <laughs> it's not me, I, I you know I'm not the one with the end game. You're gonna you're gonna throw your hands up at that. But it's obviously because clear. that's unfair to say. I I you don't you're the one that's going against what I'm the norm answer. is. The, the, what the, I think it the, is. I'm going to tell the way the proof is for you to do that. You I'm have to this. Sure. You have to explain who had where uh, that you have the dragon in the, in the basement. I don't have to we, we already understand that that's a, and, and it may be wrong you. it may be wrong i may be wrong but it's your it's your your responsibility to prove that it's wrong it's not mine but he, th you. he thinks he has okay no he actually I, I, says I, I, so it's the bigger not, yeah, right, but he's using is, science right, the same way. Let, let, let's let him uh talk about this whole thing of the end game and what the the whole uh purpose of this deception so, is so you guys all believe that we live on a big ball. Therefore, you guys believe like how, that... First of all, I like how infantile and juvenile you make it sound. A big you know ball. <laughs> we live on a spherical uh, fucking planet. Okay, that's great. That's fantastic. So you live on Semantics. a... You, so, so you believe, this is what you believe, and I'm going to summarize, I'm going to make it really short. You believe that once upon a time, there was nothing. It exploded, What's and that, that explosion created everything. Then lightning struck, created an amoeba that made it with another amoeba that became a fish that grew legs that climbed out of the water. So you don't Happened believe to, in evolution on, either. Hang on, Let hang him on. go, let him go. It, it climbed out of the water. It found another mutated fish that climbed out of the water, had a baby, had a monkey, and the monkey had a retarded baby, then it was a human. I mean, that's, that's basically the 
timeline that no they- that that's not the timeline at all the first thing is there are there are single single celled animals that don't need I, I other summarize. Uh, that, I sweat, female and male animal, two human. fish and two male the, the, the having two parents is an evolutionary process that has happened to create diversity and, and through darwinism and, I think I he was just summing it up yeah, quickly. Yeah, but you can't jump that. But I, 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 you know I understand, but he's just trying yeah. to I'm sum it up quickly. It we all nothing. understand that. Yeah. So I, I still wanted to get yeah, to yeah. the end game. Go ahead. <laughs> just, like when Owen, just like when Owen said he was holding your hand, but he found out. It's just like Owen, you, you said Owen was lying when he said he was holding your hand and found out you were retarded. Yeah. Well, that's a joke. That's funny. It's hilarious. Owen is fucking funny as fuck. I love him. All right. I appreciate that. Um, so... Well, okay, so so you believe that nothing exploded, became everything, and and we're here, um, and you're an insignificant speck in the middle of a, in the middle of an infinite universe where there's <laughs> of other specks, and that an asteroid could wipe us out, and that we're running out of fuel, and that uh, global warming, all this stuff. You're just living in fear, in lack, and uh, okay. So he's I get what he's saying. Right, these, the, yeah, these so he's are, saying these this is a way ideas to create yeah. consumers. Yeah. To, for, to so make you, us don't, you don't, and, you don't buy all those else. things part right, and right. parcel with any single thing. Uh, you might believe in uh, global warming or climate change, but then you might not believe in the Big Bang theory. But I get what you're saying. Go ahead. But, but if you believe in the ball, you believe in the Big Bang or, or something. No, you similar. don't necessarily. The Big Bang, I take the Big Bang, by the way, as a, a theory. Um, it is. A, a theory of, uh, it's it's so difficult for Scientific theory. to wrap their head around the creation of something as vast as the universe and why we're here. It's one of those questions that we have pondered since we crawled out of the fucking muck. But, but, I accept it as a theory that still needs to be looked into. Sure. Uh, I don't science. buy it as I do buy a spherical Earth because of the proof that I've seen over the years that leads me to believe, using my own logic and common sense, that we live on a sphere. So the um, I, I'm, on the app, there's a frequent, there's a featured video every that day it? that shows. So listen to this on the, on the bottom. It's good, it's good app. And, yeah, there's a featured video that shows up every day. Yesterday's video, if you get the app and click the archive button, uh, which is right uh, wherever it is, right there. Mm -hmm. um, if you click the archive button, yesterday's video will show you what you believe about the how big the Earth is and how big it, the, it's going around the great attractor. Um, all of this stuff is is a ludicrous theory that needs to be proven. I'll give you that. You know, maybe it's true. But if you understood the depth and the absurdity of this theory, um, then you might not so likely believe you it. You don't think the depth and absurdity of a flat plane floating mm. around in the not void. Not floating in space. Not hey, floating, that's false. Well, false. whatever What's it's it anchoring to. It's in yeah. space. But this 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 flat not plane, which nature... There is there no space? Nature abhors that shape. It's not right. structurally sound. It so, doesn't naturally occur by let even me answer that. forces. You're, it, you're, it, you're pushing a false, a, a straw man argument here that's not us. So listen, no, no, listen. It's not a disk in space. Okay. Space doesn't exist. Good, help me. Okay? There is so, no space. Yeah, no, there, is, there, there is no space. So we're shown that the um, the way I describe it and is that the the flat Earth, the Earth is the basement of what we call the universe. It's just the it's just the floor of of existence. Okay, okay. and we live in some sort of structure that's keeping us, uh, you know, in a pressurized system. We have a pressurized air system. And so you guys believe in infinite space. By the way, space was made up by a Vatican priest who, <laughs> absolutely, it was introduced by a Vatican priest who was later um, turned into the science advisor for the Vatican. Okay? That's who made up space. It, it who, who, made is this, it up. who is this priest? Uh, I don't know the name. You can look it up. All right? Um, so... So we have this pressurized system. You guys believe there's an infinite vacuum, which is like four, a Tor 10 vacuum, right? right. And I'm going to say, and I know what your answer is, gravity. Why doesn't the vacuum suck the air off the earth? Exactly. You're saying it's thin, the gravity's holding it on, right? right? But, but that's nonsense because I can disprove that with a straw, okay? When I put a straw in my mouth, 
point it down and stick it in liquid or just air, and I make a weak vacuum with my lungs, not a Tor 10 powerful vacuum, just the weak vacuum of my lungs, I can pull water and air up away from gravity, but the vacuum of space can't. It's nonsense. If I had a, a, a bottle with all the air sucked out of it at any altitude, if I opened up that the bottle. The bottle's not heavy out, as fuck. No, 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 I'm holding the bottle. It's right. going to suck the air up and away at it's any like altitude. Deep, he's saying like you know deep, that a vacuum. You know that a vacuum doesn't suck things out? Do you know Wait, a vacuum? But, but the hold, first on, law hold on, hold on. I, 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 I think you can agree. I think you can agree that, 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 that I'm letting you speak a, a lot. I, I want you to, I to, to speak. Thank you. But, so Thank I'm not you. interrupting you or anything during this. But I want a vacuum. It's a misconception that a vacuum is sucking things yeah. out. What a vacuum does is leaves a void to be filled by something else. It's osmosis. Now, what and you're saying is the atmosphere would then fill that. The, the gravity of the Earth, which, I mean, to try to dispel this and, and say that didn't just happen. I'm going to tell you how that exist. happened. But let me continue. Yes. Uh, and to say that that isn't holding the physical atmosphere, all those molecules that make up our atmosphere, and it's holding it down to the Earth to the point where a vacuum will not allow that atmosphere to disperse into empty space, so, which like you said, doesn't exist. That's why the atmosphere stays against the planet Earth. And that's why there's a gradient as you gain altitude, you're getting less and less and less atmosphere. of until those there's nothing. molecules until, there's nothing, until right. it reaches nothing. Right, but a summer breeze can push the air left and right and up well, and down. Well, that's within the and, confines and, of the atmosphere. Okay. There are de various ebbs and flows because of heat and cooling okay. and 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 uh, barometric pressure and moisture. So, let all me answer. That has let me answer. Say. I have a I have a glass bottle and I've removed all the air from it. And I put the top on it. That's a void. We'll call that a void inside that vacuum. Right. At any altitude, no matter where I am, top down, and if I unscrewed that top, it's going to fill the void with the atmosphere. It's going to go up and away from gravity. What happened to gravity then? Meanwhile, gravity can hold a cruise ship up on the bottom of the ocean, on the bottom of this world, an ocean, but I can pull the air up and away. It's but nonsense. you're making Here's what negative gravity. pressure. You put work into that bottle to do something at a later time. When you pop the cork, you've already put work into the bottle okay. of making right, so negative well, pressure. Like, I wanna, I, I, so you, it's gonna what you're saying is osmosis is when, when matter moves from a, a degree of lesser concentration to a higher concentration, which is the same thing when you pour water on a table, it spreads out. So if in a bottle where there's a vacuum, the, the, the void is filled because there's not the, because of osmosis, because it's yeah. a, a degree of lesser concentration, which is why the air goes in the bottle. It's not a vacuum. It's nothing. Right. But right. I, what I'm just saying for all intents and for all intents and a vacuum. Right, right, but I'm so saying, saying all in terms of it. it's nothingness, and because there's nothing there, matter moves in a way right. to fill if you nothingness. You have a pressurized cabin of a spaceship, and a window breaks. It's going to go. You don't have to do that. You of can the pressure in the cabin, not because of this right. vacuum outside sucking. Well, if you it. if you take water and you pour it on a table, the molecules want to separate, and so it spreads out on the table, which is the same right. concept. Anthony, can Gravity. I ask you a question? Yeah. I, I found the space station, they got a little micrometeorite, put a hole in it. Would yep. it suck all the air out? Would space suck the air out? Uh, pressure would leak out of that hole at a, a rate proportional to the hole. And could they fix because it with it's duct tape? Yeah, you'd be able to fix that. It's With one. It's one atmosphere <laughs> inside the ship. It's one atmosphere. H have you it's seen? It's not even the like pressure of a fucking plane flying <laughs> at thirty thousand feet. Have you seen what happens when you heat a metal drum or take the air out of it? The train oh, I car. I love that experiment. Collapse? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How come when the the astronauts in their soft snowboarding suits go for a spacewalk, it doesn't uh, <laughs> doesn't explode like the Michelin Man from the no pressure on the outside? Right. How come they do all of their training? It's in one a pool? atmosphere. It's barely a blown up balloon. Wait, no, that's not true. One atmosphere. You just go up uh, to ten thousand feet, and you're gonna it fills up. 
you know, you have a, a bottle, a water bottle on the plane. You, when you go up, it expands if there's air in it, okay? Just from the slight little changes there. You put it in a, a vacuum chamber. There's a million videos on YouTube. People sucking the air out and cans and things explode. They explode in a vacuum chamber, which is not even a Tor 1 vacuum and space is like a Tor 10 but you're or saying, whatever it is. So, so, but you're saying space doesn't exist. What is it then? What is beyond the dome? So let's talk about the Earth first. So they, they show us a cross section of the earth and they're like, this is 6,000 degrees and this is 50,000 degrees and the core is metal. You know, they show us this, this colorful cross section. The deepest hole ever dug is called the Great Borehole. It's in Russia. And they use ground penetrating radar. Rich and Voss's all their act. <laughs> the Great they, Borehole. They, they, I'm they, kidding. They, I love um, Rich. They used all of their technology to see what they were digging into and what they were going to hit next. And they were wrong every step of the way. But when they got just short of eight miles, they hit an impenetrable barrier that they couldn't get through. I think they tried for a year. Nobody can get through it. So the deepest hole on a flat or ball earth that's ever been dug is less than eight miles. And they were wrong all the way down on what they were going to be hitting. But we know what's from there to the center of the earth. That is nonsense. That is pseudoscience. So now let's talk about going up all right we've we've shot if you've seen the go fast rocket it goes up 73 miles and it hits something i don't know what it is it could just be cold gas it could be they did one with a, a thermometer on it and it went close to absolute zero so maybe the helium that's up there turns solid we Wait, don't know we is can't nasa get putting there. the helium up there no we don't know well helium would go up oh we talk about gravity um the lighter gases go up, the heavier gases go down. We live in a gradient system where the heavier gases are down, are down low. The well, Earth. You agree has, to that? I, I don't. But no, I don't on. understand how you agree to that, and then you 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 circumvent the whole gravity, gravity process when it's convenient to you. Right now, I'm going to give you another explanation of what gravity is. You've seen the experiment where you have water and oil and a different liquid and different things are all floating in a jar and everything separates to its own level due to buoyancy and density. We can Dense, all agree on that. Right. Buoyancy, density, 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 density yeah, weight. More dense. That, that, work, yeah, that works at the on bottom, a ball earth. Less dense. It, it, right. But something needs to establish which way is down. And you're saying it's gravity. I'm saying it's the negative charge of the earth. That's something that I can prove. Oh the my earth, God. The hang fucking on, static hang on. charge gravity thing. Hang on. Hang on. The Earth has a negative charge, which attracts everything to it. You ever see those ozonators that you turn them on and it, it, um, it puts a positive charge in the air and all of the dust falls to the ground and you can vacuum it up? That's because the negative charge of the ground pulls the positive charge particles down. That's testable, repeatable, observable. Okay, All you need to do is establish which way is down. Down is this way. Whether I'm here or 5,000 miles over there, down is this way. You know, forward and backwards are different. Like you guys are, we're uh, standing in front of each other. Forward for me is this way. Can forward I, can for I, you. Can I ask you something yeah. about about the static charge? Is a gravity? That's what's pulling things down. That's what it's. That's it's what a, establishes it's, the down. It's they like your positive and negative. Can't. What you say? Rub a balloon on your head, it's and sticky. and uh, fucking uh, confetti will stick to the balloon based on a negative and positive charge. Or now, you get to hold it up on the ground; it'll pull things on. up away from. You the ground. do know that different materials are attracted differently in static electricity, whereas the rate of of, of something affected by gravity is a constant. What is it? Nine point eight. 9.8 meters per second. By the way, the Earth does not rise at 9.8 meters per second. You went to the Flat Earth Society. That is a disinfo site. It's it's total nonsense, and it's to make I'm people. I'm just saying. Believe. Before you switch to that, I want yeah. you to explain this static charge so, gravity so, that is well, holding us to the Earth based on positive well, and negative attraction of of uh, gravity molecules. has never been proven that, that mass attracts mass. They they, they mass attracts Again, mass. Again, you're never trying to dispel my belief. I'm trying to ask you how that makes sense that various objects made of different nope. material are affected differently by static charges, yet the rate of a fall of a That's thing constant. in a vacuum I'm on the gonna, moon, I'll wherever explain. the fuck, we've is a constant. Gravity. No, we've changed, we've changed gravity. On the app, what change. about gravity? <laughs> what about gravity? Um, and there's, there's videos on there. We've you taken it where we so had exhausted. helium balloon. I, I Floating something up, and we add it. We turned on a um, a, a Tesla generator, whatever it was, whatever I forget what they're called. That put a, a negative charge negative or charge. a positive charge into it, and it got heavier and it got lighter due to its potential charge. Okay, 
different things have different charges to but them. That's I'm not, not look, an expert look, on this. You, you mentioned it before when we talk about uh, uh, new uh, rail systems that defy gravity based on uh, magnetic uh, uh, yeah, uh, attraction and repulsion. But that isn't changing gravity. That is using other forces to negate a little bit of gravity. So when you say the balloon got heavier or not, it's it's not. It, you're, you're using a static charge to change how that balloon is reacting in gravity, but it's not changing gravity. It's changing its weight. It is not. It's, gravity is not. Well, it, it, wait, gravity is a constant. If you, if you, if you, you, take you know a more balloon, about gravity wait, than Neil. You should go on Star Talk. If you, you take, should go should. If you take a balloon, rub it on your hair. Well, I don't have hair, but if you rub, if you rub a balloon, if you rub a balloon on your head, you can stick it on the wall. Yeah. That doesn't right. change the weight of the balloon. It just it changes right. the charge. It, it so changes there's the a charge. difference in attraction. It didn't change gravity. Right. So you're you saying change the that ability the of the balloon to defy a set. Or you force just that add a constant. different force that uh, attracts it differently. So if you have a bullet and you shoot a bullet, it goes through air and the friction of the bullet through the air shows the bullet. Up. That's a whole different force than gravity itself. But gravity is affecting that. Right, gravity is affecting that too because you have to, when, when a sniper says he shoots, he shoots over the horizon. He, he, he so, adjusts for the horizon. So I, talk about snipers, snipers and the Coriolis effect, which is not real. It's just not real. <laughs> Right. There, there's one sniper video that says he does it. We've talked to many snipers, many long range. And I'm going to prove it to you right now. Uh -huh. um, there, there's people that, that they have these That'd guns on these ship that, that <laughs> shoot over 100 miles. OK. And the Coriolis would be ridiculous on that shot. So they're saying that they have to calculate um, when they're shooting somebody that's like two miles away. Right. So what are they looking at through the scope? Are they going, all right, I got the guy in the scope. Now I'm going to move it way to the left and hope left. that the bullet hooks to the right. No, they got the guy in the scope and they shoot. There is no Coriolis. To none. The left? Anywhere. No, it'd none. be above it. <sighs> above, well, no, there's drop. That's for sure. Like when you shoot a bullet and drop a bullet, they're both going to hit the ground at the same time, just in different places. I've never heard a, of a sniper taking the rotation of the earth into account. So you go a few you. degrees to well, the left you, or right. No, but they do take into consideration the they gravity. Do not. Yeah, gravity. They take into account. Again, yeah, that's fine. You again, if you, you shoot Coriolis. a bullet, if you shoot the passenger in a car doing 60 miles an hour, you don't have to compensate for 60 miles an hour. Your whole environment, it's relative. Is you're zero miles an hour relative to the guy next to you in the car. Exactly. So when you shoot that bullet, it's going into his head. It's not. You don't have to compensate for the unless fact you, that the unless car you is unless you have a slow bullet. You or like unless there's no windshield. If a car wind is a mile, away, if a car is a mile away, speeding. You're gonna have to shoot ahead of that car to hit the car. Because right? now it's relative to you right. being outside the car. This is relativity. Relative to the inside of the car is different than relative to outside the car, and and adjustments have to be made accordingly. But it doesn't mean in the car when you're all on the same moving platform as the Earth is just a bigger version of the car, and, and when we're all moving at the same speed and it's constant, we don't feel acceleration or deceleration. We're can just I, there. Can we, uh, can we, can I demonstrate a couple other examples? Maybe I some other things this. we could talk Please. about. I, I appreciate it. Um, so the, your eyes have an angular resolution limit of um, something when it gets a certain size, an angular size, you can't see it, even Unless though it's still it's there. Unless it's a hot chick, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, ooh. <laughs> Um, you can see her a hundred so miles away. You guys, if any of you guys watch <laughs> those the space titties station ain't fly invisible. By, yes, you guys have uh, the app and said, "Oh, the space station's going to come by at four six four fifty two or whatever." Right, and the lit up balloon. Bright, you see this bright light, uh, unbelievable, a brighter star in the sky, go from horizon to horizon in like just a couple of minutes. Right, you've seen it. Yes. I've seen, I've seen it. Okay, so. What size is uh is um the space station? It's about the size of a football field, about the size, a little bigger than the seven forty seven. Okay. Yeah. When you take a seven forty seven, you're standing under a seven forty seven. It's gigantic. And then we move it up to cruising altitude. It's now smaller than a pencil eraser held at arm's length. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Sure. And it's kind of gray because it's far away. The light, uh, you know, it's just dimming out through that much atmosphere. Right. If I doubled the height, it went from this giant thing to a pencil eraser at arm's length. If I doubled the height, you think you could see it? Of course not, right? Right? I don't know. Agree. 
Well, come on. It went from a football field over your head to the size of a pencil eraser, right? That angular size. And now I'm going to double the distance. Yeah. Right? It, it, you, you can't see it. I don't know. I'm right, saying well, I don't at, know. Maybe. Right. How maybe about if I not. ten times the distance? You think Man, you I, I, well, you get the point. We get the point, but okay. Right. But the we get the point. The station is fifty times that height. Yeah. Okay. And and it's this bright light in the sky. You ever try to reflect the sun, right, on something in the distance? It you're moving all over the place. This thing is going by. Somehow it's lit up bright as the friggin' sun, and we can see this thing at fifty. Uh, times the height of a 747 that's nonsense this is this is nonsense the next question is well then what is that light i have no fucking idea what it is it's something it's a luminary like a wandering star that moves around through our skies we the only thing we can say about the luminaries we see in the sky is that they're lights we can't don't say you think else. don't you there. think you, you, so you don't think that mm. humans have the ability potential technology to have built rockets that took men into space. I know you don't believe in the whole space thing, but you think it's it's more reasonable to assume that humans had to figure out this decade upon decade long farce of space travel and continue it and actually make it seem like we've gotten better at it. And and this lie has been perpetrated we for at it. so lost long. The technology and instead, the hold, hold on. Instead of just saying, wow, this is hard. Someone's going to catch on eventually. Why don't we shut this whole thing down? Instead of that, we've actually figured we want to do more. We want to go to Mars. We've opened it up to the private sector with Boeing is going to launch something Friday. SpaceX is constantly sending rockets up. So instead of shutting it down and going, just let, let them forget that we even tried the space thing. We've actually done more in an era where cameras are fucking everyone's got them. Amazing cameras. Uh, the photographic evidence is everywhere. But you're assuming that this farce, this lie, this hoax is still easy enough to perpetrate on the entire world no. that people would take the chance to continue doing it. Everything you said is wrong. Okay, so we, All right. we did, I've heard that from my ex-wife yeah. during the divorce. Every single thing you said is wrong. Um, so, so we haven't gotten. We used to. We went to the moon a bunch of times in the 1960s, but we lost the technology. We lost the all of the tapes. We taped over them because they had a budget shortage, um, and they taped over all of those tapes. They lost the technology. We couldn't go back if we wanted to. That's what the. That's what NASA says. I I don't believe that. Wait a minute. So look up Don Pettit. Uh, can, we can't go back to the I've moon. I've heard about the tapes. Look, it's like the yeah. old fucking Jackie yeah. Gleason show. I realized they <laughs> they didn't think they were going to be as special at the time. Uh, so, and then they taped over it. I get that part. But we never went to the moon. The way, well, Period. Well, we never went to the moon. That's a whole other thing. And yeah. Buzz Aldrin oh. would punch you in the face. If <laughs> <aren't> <laughs> <doing that. laughs> Do you, you don't think stars are real, is what I get. It's, it's okay. just a luminary. So, for, so, so for thousands of years, they've been keeping these lights in the sky before lights existed? On the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac clock app, there's a, uh, there's a playlist called Stars. All right, and go to the stars. Our optics have outgrown their lines. Anthony, I know you like uh, good high-tech cameras. The Nikon P1000 super zoom camera, 125 times zoom. You put that sucker on a tripod, zoom in on a star, and it is a pulsing orb of oh, I know. geometry. I've seen that. Do you know how much yeah. shit is in between us and that right. star? Yeah, yeah, talk that, about talk about not being able to see fucking 747 uh, the at, at, yeah, all the at 65,000 feet. How so, about a, a star that is but, that is fucking light years away and all the muck and muck and atmosphere of Earth and then after that all the celestial no, hang on, hang on. stars have been that. talked I, about for thousands that. of years. Let me, let me in address literature. let me address that. Please let me address do. that. So the the like the star Arcturus. You're saying that it, we're looking through muck and everything. I can tell the difference which star is which. Just show me a video of it, and I'll go. Oh, that's Arcturus. That's Polaris. I recognize them because they all have their unique uh, yeah. personality. They throw if you will. off different They're, light spectrum okay. because of what they're made up of. Percentages right. of only. The only photos that we have of stars and planets come from NASA and Disney, and one of them is more credible than the other. Dude, okay? for and thousands of years, 
You can't there say that. There has been you records anything. of stars. You, you know nothing from There's before 1850. There's fucking drawings or nothing. caves recorded of history. stars. We have recorded history before 1850. Man has always been under the stars. Who is Yo. keeping these lights on on these fucking stars? Who's paying that bill? The star bill. The guy from the Red Roof Inn. <laughs> we'll keep the right, light hold on. on for We're him. back. We're back. We're back. There you are. You got me? Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah. So, so we're we're spinning a uh, thousand miles an hour, sixty six thousand miles an hour, orbiting and chasing the sun at six hundred thousand miles per hour, right. flying around the great attractor, just all of these motions. And for thousands of years, all of the constellations are in the exact same place on the same night each year. They're Somehow, predictably magically, always in the same place. They're always in because, the exact same place. Do you understand this? It's, 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 it's as if everything is going Listen, around the same. But again, you're model. under. You're downplaying the un imaginable size of it all. The spinning that's going on. First of all, first of all, the spinning is relative oh, again. Make we my point. we may as well say, hold on. Make we may point. as well say the earth is the center of the universe because if there's no border, we could say we're the middle of it and everything goes around us. So we, the motion in is. space is relative to what? There's nothing to make it relative to. So we're either hurtling through at unbelievable speeds or we're literally standing still. There's nothing to really so, base our movement on. So they're telling us that the planets are all going in different directions and all the stars are going in different Relative planets are going to around. us, we have to have some standard. We have no, to say NASA, NASA if the sun is the center like of our solar system, right. we're going so, around the sun. You said that these that these distances are unimaginable. No, and I say you're wrong. They're only imaginable. This is something that you have to imagine. Let's just do a let's do a little diagram. Imagine our giant sun was just a mile over our heads right now, right? And uh, we have nothing. Uh, the you know we're in Kansas. It's flat. We're out in the middle of the ocean. <clears throat> right. The sun would fill the entire sky, horizon to horizon. Agreed? Agreed. Yeah. If the giant the, sun that we the know giant of sun was just a mile over our heads. Oh, mm. that's way bigger than the Earth? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. It would cover us. So sure. now let's move it 93 million miles away where they say it is, which right. is a ridiculous way they calculated that. Um, and now it's the size of a dime held at arm's length. Agreed? Right. Okay. So we're reduced from everything horizon to horizon to the size of a dime at 93 million miles. If I doubled the distance, how much smaller would that sun get? Because, by the way, half at um, the size. Oh, I don't even size? know if it's half. Okay. I don't well, know. He might said, be, well, he said it might it be double. some right. type of right. uh, formula so, where it's. Like, where's, where are you going with yeah. it? It's an exponential so, so, thing, so, perhaps. I, Maybe. What if but, I turns the stars what if I, on? What if I eight times the distance? Eight what, times. Just what are you getting if, at, though? I'm getting at eight times the distance is a light hour, okay? A light hour. The closest star we see is 4.3 light years away. Yeah. These are ridiculous n numbers. The angular, the, the, you know what the inverse square law of light is? I explained it a little bit before. It's impossible. The brightness of the moon um, that we see it at, if it was just one lumen, right, and it's brighter than that when it's full, um, by the time the astronauts got within 100 miles of the moon, it would be brighter than the sun, according to science, all right? But it's not. And when they were there, they were on this dusty, dirty ball. They went there. They played golf. They drove the only, wait, wait, wait. The only reason the moon is light at all is because it's reflected from the sun, and it can't be brighter than something it's reflecting. But no, when, no. when do you no, think right. stars started? But it, it couldn't when did stars be start? When did stars start? Yeah. When did when did when did, no the, when, when did did the cabal when did the cabal decide to turn on stars to well, that's fuck a with ridiculous people? Ridiculous question. What's, that's a, that's what's a, that's the? A I question. still want to know what the end game is. And so why is that a, if no, why is that a ridiculous if, question? Because there's no answer to it. <laughs> logic. Yeah. When did the who is start paying to keep or? stars in the sky? And who always Pain? has? That's, that's ridiculous. And and, that's and ridiculous. did it in a predictable way that it's always it, that they're always in the same spot at the same time. They're they're fixed in the firmament above. By whom? I don't know the the whoever created this place. What's above the dome? What's it's above intelligently the dome? designed. What's above um, what's the ab dome? I don't know what's above it. it uh, we think it's liquid. How it's, do you not maybe know? Maybe water. No How one, do you not know? No one decided. You know? No one decided. Let's say let's say everyone's popular belief was Flatter. exactly like you say. Don't you think humans would have wanted to explore and see, hey, what the fuck is, let's get a sawzall, cut a so, hole in it, and get the fuck out there. So what's, so the, project, what's the, what's uh, the- Project, uh, I think it's called Project Dominic or Project um, hey, Fishbowl. Project Dominic. Where they, 
where they uh, okay, where they were shooting you? bombs up into the sky, trying to blow a hole in the sky in the 1950s, work. and they couldn't. It didn't work. Weird. So there seems to be an impenetrable barrier above us, and one about eight miles below us. Right? What because the you couldn't side blow of up the sky means that it up. doesn't exist. It means no, that the they were dome trying to what? blow a hole in this hard, fast barrier that's above <laughs> us. Right? And there's there's still video uh, of of it, and it looks like it's hitting something. To have right? so many I, I, people try to perpetuate this lie and, and, how and, the end game. and get further and deeper into the lie by sending up more rockets, telling more people that they are going to be privy to traveling into space soon. I like that seems counterproductive. That seems counterproductive to keeping the lie going. So, you know, they discovered, uh, the, I believe they discovered uh, the the barrier in Antarctica in uh, 1959 or whatever, right around that time. And uh, then they put up the Antarctic Treaty started then, and the, and the NASA was created then. So they put a barrier above us and a barrier around us that we can't get to, right? So the end game, which I didn't answer before, is what if there was more land? What if there was a way to get away from this tyranny? What if you didn't have to worry about all this 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 uh, end of the world stuff? What if you knew that there was plenty of resources? What if you knew that there was free energy and they couldn't bill us for it? Are you are so you saying that that's the, true? Uh, you know, are you saying that that's true? Or are you saying that's a hypothetical understanding of why this? That's ultimately why. Are you saying? Have you ever that, looked into free energy? Have you? No, I'm saying this is. My my dad used to jump the box uh, for the power company. He'd take it off and put a couple of wires in. <laughs> so my dad energy, knew right? a lot yeah. about free energy. Yeah, there you go. Free energy. We'd go to the light pole. Tesla, We'd go to get Tesla it from the light, light pole. pole. Like a free cable. And too. cable. Nikola Tesla powered the World Fair wirelessly. And J.P. Morgan said, how do we bill people for this? He goes, you can't. It's free energy. We're sucking it out of the earth. And he's like, well, that's not going to happen. He cornered the market on copper wire. And they started this whole electrical system. And that's how they control us. Oil is another hoax. Electricity, it's all to control us with hoax? power. Well, oil uh, is natural in the earth, okay? Right. And and we don't need it. Yeah, we're using it to power stuff. Absolutely. Believe it, you know, that that's that's done, but the, you know, they're saying that there's an oil shortage. The empty oil wells are full again. It's it, it's re the earth is replenishing the oil. It's not made from dinosaur bones. So are you, are you saying are you saying that this is to create consumers? Is that what you is that it's, what the end game it's is? Control us. It's it's to take away our free will. We have natural free will. So what right? happens but, if tomorrow everybody agrees with you? What uh, so what that, happens to society? That changes everything, the governments and edu uh, all of the universities and all of the sciences, uh, they all have to be retooled. It would be a massive change. But when you discover that we live in a created world, okay, not a random speck from nothing, you then realize there's a creator. And where you take it from there is your own business. Well, I'm not that, saying yeah. who the creator is. The religious I'm, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not, listen, I'm not yeah. religious. I'm not anything. I understand that we don't live on a spinning ball. We can talk about eclipses too. I heard you talk about that. Um, and I can prove to you that the ball is impossible. No, we didn't talk. Uh, there's no eclipse talk. Do you think Donald Trump can keep this secret? <laughs> um, I don't know if Donald Trump knows. I think he's just another puppet. <laughs> what know? about eclipses? I want to hear about that. So, so we're told, can you, uh, you see my microphone here? So let's say this is the sun, right? And here's the earth. Yeah. All right. And when, um, so when the sun, when the moon comes in between the sun, no, I'm sorry. This is, uh, make this the sun. And this is, uh, <laughs> this is the moon, the sun right, and the moon, right, right. right? And then the moon, the earth comes in and eclipses. That's eclipses a lunar eclipse. Yeah. Yeah. The, so it, it comes in and eclipses it. Now, if you're standing on the on this part of the Earth, let's just call this the equator or whatever, the Earth is sideways, and here's the sun, and the moon is up here. I mean, the, God, I'm, I'm, gonna, I, I'm a little dyslexic. I, I know what you're getting at. So, but. so the sun and the moon, to yeah. the observer, are above the horizon. He can see both of them at the same time, yeah. but the eclipse has already started on the moon. And it's coming in from the top, not from the bottom, because he's on the Earth that's supposedly coming up and going to eclipse it. But the eclipse starts from the top. You can see them both. That proves that it's not the Earth that's causing the eclipse. What's causing the eclipse? I don't know. The, the, yeah, the but, the, the, but the, earth, the Earth is not—let me just—the Earth is on a tilted axis. 
So yeah, it doesn't matter. Tilt it any way you want. It doesn't matter if the sun and the moon, it's called the Seleninian eclipse, if the sun and the moon are above the earth, the shadow should eventually come in from the bottom, but it's already started coming in from the top. Sometimes it comes in from the side. You cannot recreate it. Get a light, get a single source light, get two balls, and you'll see they have to be in line. And they, that it has to be, one of them has to be below your horizon to see it. So that's happened many times. So then we're told that the response that we have is only a sphere can come in from any angle and create a curved shadow. Yeah. That is a lie. That is a, a, a lie. Let me explain. I'm going to explain because right. you never thought of this. You got, a, um, uh, you got your sunlight. You have a single source light yeah. and you have a ball. You take another ball and start eclipsing that sunlight. That ball shadow on another sphere shadow comes in as a tight ellipse. And then as it comes up, it spreads mm -hmm. out. And then it leaves as an ellipse, okay? And that's how it works on a, on a, a ball. If it was just a flat thing you were reflecting on, you would see the ball. It you would definitely see a circle. But a ball shadowing another ball doesn't make a perfect curve like we see. Now, I'm not saying that the Earth is flat and causing this eclipse. But if you have a ball over here and you took a book and brought it in between the light, it would... It would make a curved shadow because the flat book is making a curved shadow because it's oh, curved. Because it's curved. I'm not even, no, I'm not it would change. It would change. <laughs> it would change no, no, as it, it creeps no, it up it. We've or it. in. I have video of it. I have video of it. It doesn't change. It's exactly what we see. But that's not what's causing it. I'm saying that's not what we're causing it. On the app again, eclipses. Look it up. The videos are there. The experiments are there. These Believe are me, I look everything up. I get no answers. I guess well, kind of here, weird the nonsense. Problem. We yeah. only have a certain amount of time, and and this stuff takes hours. Like I, I do interviews sometimes, and I tell people I've spent that hours, I, my friend. I went clearly, I went to medical. Clearly, right, you and, put in and, some work on this, Anthony. But I, I do mean, think it's lots what? of the stuff you're watching <laughs> is kind is of nonsense. impressive. I mean. there, there's so what much. What do you think of Mark Sargent? Mark Sargent uh, I think is, is a great guy. He loves what he's doing. He loves the popularity, and you know what? Good for him. He's done a lot for for flat Earth. Matter of fact. He's the one that turned me into a flat earther, right? I was anti flat earth. I wouldn't watch a one they minute all video. You all say this. You all say that video. you were skeptics. You started getting into it to dispel it, and then you just fucking got it. Everything I've looked at, uh, I'm waiting for this eureka moment where I'm like, right. wait, I That's get it. it. Everything I've looked at through more research has made <laughs> me think more that it's utter and complete nonsense. Fall into three baskets, can fall into three baskets. Works on a ball earth only works on a flat earth only, or works on both. Circumnavigation east and west work on both. Okay, you go around east and west on both. Distances um, don't make uh, sense on both, though. What doesn't? Distances don't make sense on both flat and sphere. So you, want, you want to talk plane flights now from Santiago to Australia? Well, let's talk plane flights from Santiago to Australia and then from New York to Japan and then talk about how the line to Japan is this big, and the line to Sydney is this big, yet yeah. the time is the same on Let's a flat Earth map. That. Yeah. So, so again, you don't know how fast these planes are going. The plane that goes oh, – listen, listen, huh? listen. Just listen. I'm listening. Listen. The plane that flies from Santiago to Australia is a special plane. There's only a few pilots that make the flight. It has seven layers of heat-resistant paint on it. What does that tell you? How fast is this thing going? But it doesn't even need to go that fast to make the distance. Did you know on your spinning ball, right, it's spinning to the east. The Earth is spinning east, yeah. right, on its axis. Right. Um, that at 40,000, 45,000 feet, that the winds are outrunning the Earth by 300 miles per hour. Outrunning the Earth. Right, you're saying that the Earth is spinning and the atmosphere is spinning with it, but the upper atmosphere is outrunning the spin of the Earth. That's impossible. If anything, it would be lagging behind because it has a, it has to go faster just to keep up with the smaller circumference of the Earth because the larger circumference of the atmosphere, it's but outrunning. Less pressure up there. Well, and what about the rel relativity? It's still in the, the idea of relativity. You're, you're using words here. Just the relativity doesn't mean anything. The, no, the, it does the, mean something. Sir, if you're, we're, let we're, me finish my point. I got wind, 10 seconds left. Ten seconds. Let me finish the point. Okay. You put that plane into that into that into that uh, tailwind, 300 mile an hour tailwind. The plane needs to go about 650 miles an hour. It makes that trip every single time. Not a problem. We had a guy 
take that trip and he took a compass with him and the compass, the directions were all wrong, but we lined him up on where he would be on the map and it lined up perfectly on a flat earth map. You, you, lined it, up perfectly. It, it, what you're saying How though, many times have you replicated that? Doesn't make sense. Only done it once. Ah, Good, the study outside. of one, yeah. always we, scientific. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, we, we've only done it once, and that's what it leads to. There was an emergency landing. There was a plane going from the Philippines uh, to California, right? And it's gone its way to California. It's going over Hawaii straight to California. And right before Hawaii, uh, a lady had a baby, and they made an emergency landing in Alaska, okay? That is ridiculous. California on your globe is closer than Alaska, but they went to Alaska, for the emergency landing, put that on a flat earth map and that's exactly where they go. Straight line over Alaska, right down to California. That's how it works. Can you imagine okay. being stuck on a plane next to him? <laughs> Look, oh, man. David, people, David. People like, hey, I took a plane flight and now I'm a flat earther. <laughs> David, I, honestly, I want to thank you for coming on. Uh, hey, hey, it's it's can such can we a... just plug that out one more time? Go ahead, man. The, the, the flat earth sun, moon, and zodiac clock. Take the challenge. Every day, a new video will show up right here and uh, you get a little notification on what it's about. Watch it. Short videos during the week, long videos on the weekend. Do that for two weeks and you will be a flat earther. Same thing happens every time. People go, I took your challenge, but I hit the archive button. I watched everything for the last three days. Holy shit. Now everybody thinks I'm a moron. I got to tell you, like like many of your uh, cohorts in the flat earth uh, community, I uh, appreciate your gumption, your stick to and... Um, if nothing else, I, I hats off to that because it is such an insane concept <laughs> to try to uh, sell people on. But thank you for, for coming on. Anthony, would you have Owen Benjamin on and let him In try? In a second, I love Owen. Yeah. I have no. Me, I'm going to ask Owen to come on because Please. I appreciate your humor and your attitude. You get a lot of shit wrong, and you have a lot of false assumptions. But <laughs> we're going to correct that. I think you're a guy willing to learn. <laughs> Thank so, you, Dave. Yep. <laughs> right. Take it easy, man. Have a good one. All right, see you. Bye. There, uh, there goes David. Uh, wow. Yes, Jesus we did. We, we did get awesome. into that a little yeah. longer than I thought we would. Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fight somebody. <laughs> I don't know why it is infuriating. Like you, you have it knocked. You go. I don't give a shit either What's the way. End game? And that's what we should be. Yeah. We should uh, be at the place where dude, I, I don't give a shit. But I fucking like I want to say no. What are you doing? You know what yeah. you remind me of my mom has this uh this pamphlet for what to say when Jehovah's Witnesses come knocking. <laughs> and she will sit there for 3 hours trying to talk these fucking J dubs. And you're not going to talk them out you, of anything. You can't make sense I out. Get you can't it. make sense out of nonsense. But I can't so. not try to Right. Argue the point. Are it's, it's reason. I mean, look, so, but he's making these scientific claims that are based on the same scientific claims that you prove. Another bit. To, please, the 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 round earth. So, and then you you decide which theories are not don't fit. And that's you know, it's a lot of cherry picking. Yeah. And him's going, no, you're wrong on a lot of things. It's like, well. I've not been proven wrong right, on any right. of these things. And with you saying the burden is on him. Yeah, sure. When you say something so outlandish that it, 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 it flies in the face of what technology and science and everyone else has said for thousands of years, you and, best and, have. And yeah. also best have a fucking has adjusted. Science has always adjusted, right, adjusted for the knowledge that we, as you know more, you expected to new do better. New information, new right. technology. No, I, yeah. That we were able to build on what we already know. I, I just don't you see just have a magic wand of fucking shit that you can say yeah. this is why. I was stuck on it, but like the stars thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're but assuming there used a, to be stars. It's kind of a motherfucker. It's kind of a thing where you get you get caught <laughs> up. Dante too. You get a caught up in a in a moment or something that you 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 know you uh, subscribe to. But the point is okay. So say it's a flat earth. It, so I. I I think what he's saying is you create consumers by lying to them. Right. And the freedom a lot. But if you had a flat earth, they would find a way to create a consumer in terms yeah, of flat yeah, earth myths. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't understand. Like when was it decided to perpetuate this hoax, this lie on everything? For what? Well, Thank and you. That we're gonna, why then? For and, what? An oil-based economy purpose? before there was oil? Right. Before there was oil, oil had something to do with it. They played like the this. long game on yeah. oil. Yeah. yeah, people came up with the globe uh, many, many thousands of years ago. So why 
did they want to hide that if Dude. oil wasn't a part of it yet? Religion, there was Wait. so many religions. Mari when, booked me. He said I could do it today or Thursday, and I was like, either works. I <laughs> wonder what you're doing yeah. Thursday, man. I bet it's going to be so fun. My, my, <laughs> be, my dad. My dad. Stuff. <laughs> like some fucking nerd my, for three hours on Skype. <laughs> Look. I love it because, dude, I know there are going to be so many people that watch the show going, Jesus fucking Christ, hang up already. Up. I was I tweeting that. fascinated yeah. by this. I'm fascinated by, not by the flat earth thing, right. by the belief that the earth is flat. Like the You dug I'm in fascinated. deep on yeah, yeah. I yeah. fucking dug in deep. Pretty, You're right. It's pretty fucking impressive. I, I was yeah. taking I, there was so, so much about this There's one moment that I was like, man, you have come such a long way from the guy that was encouraging people to have anal sex in a church. <laughs> <laughs> you now trying to, you're now the guardian of the heliocentric model. And that was <laughs> fucking sick. Listen, here. and that in itself, look, that in itself proves evolution. From a, a, a dick in a church to flat right. earth. To fucking, uh, let's, let's sell a, a globe here. From balloon I'm knots. Selling globes here. I'm fucking Copernicus. I'm with the Rand here. McNally Corporation, and I have a globe for you. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. It's it's just, to me, it's something I don't get it. I think it's 90% of the people talking about it it's a work i think there's an ulterior motive of money from youtube hits yeah. uh power some kind of a popularity thing and why now why why Everybody, now because i i know it's like 4chan with women saying uh, they're free bleeding it's a, or this being white supremacy they come up with funny shit to troll people with and fucking people run with it and it becomes real and it becomes a real thing of the parody proud boys was that yeah. like like yeah. gavin Created Proud Boys as a joke. It was a goof on on, <laughs> on uh, one of the guys that worked here, and that turned into this thing that became real. But the, even with the, but that's the thing where you gotta go. What you say is important no because shit, right? people attach people themselves with to it. it, and then you 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 have this whole other thing that's not even a thing. I. Started the no wanks thing. That was my right, that thing. That was yours. That was my and they and they co-opted that and then it became this whole thing. And I it's a crazy thing. The FBI came to my house oh my about God. the F about Isn't the Proud that Boys. Fucked up? Because they said that the Proud about Boys the white were supremacy in, group was, was in <laughs> Yeah. In, yeah. <laughs> with, Can I help in you? South America. Uh, are you sure we have the right address? Really? They had, the, 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 they were, chapters they everywhere. overthrew, they were at the, when they overthrew, what was it, Argentina? Or what, oh they, my God. They, FBI <laughs> came and interviewed me twice about this. That is so, fucking amazing. So, people get on it and then they, and they attach them, so, so you gotta, you have to be careful about what you say because even when you're joking... It, it wasn't this. always that way, though, and we're relatively new at this, right. where everything you say is taken so literally by some people that, you know, people always said, you know, because of your broadcast, you have a certain responsibility, and I was always like, go fuck your mother. No. I don't give a shit about what I say or responsibility. And I still feel that way, but it's weird now how now that's right. Because anything you can say, you say, it, it becomes and real. People pick up on it, like Jersey. like everyone could be Jim well, Jones, right? Everybody, now. Everybody, there's a lot of dumb people, <laughs> and they're and they're looking, what does that sum it up? And they're looking for something to validate themselves in some context. This right. is my thing. So now you become the flat Earth guy. But I, I, look, I, I think we all have to take scientists and say, okay, these are smart guys. They got to know better than me. Yeah. Uh, and, and even when you do a deep dive, you're not going to know what an astrophysicist knows because it, it, his whole life is dedicated to that. Right. But you have astrophysicists who know how the world works better than anybody else, and then they're Christians. And I'm like... But also not one of you, them has been turned that we know of into right. being a flat earther. No, they, they've asked a lot of these guys, do you have any scientists that have gone on the record 
uh, with this theory. They're of, all part of the. And no. Yeah, they're because all part of the scam, right? They're going to get thrown out of the fucking. Right. So you can't do, out yeah. of the business. Sure, sure. You can't fucking be working at MIT and be or like I'm California a Institute of Technology. Yeah, but and you go, can hey, be. The earth's flat. You can be a. You can be religious and 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 go. Right. Which how is that? Seems like the same thing. You, you go is it's an invisible you, magic do, guy. Do you believe that there's Adam and Eve? Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so people contort in a way so that they can believe what they mean. Isn't that I weird? Did, I did the same thing, no. though. I, I'm an atheist. Well, I wouldn't say I'm an atheist, but I'm an agnostic. I, you, you say there's a God. Prove it to me. Right. I don't think that's a lot to ask. But if you if you if you're gonna prove it to me, prove it to me, and then use the Bible as a as a thing to prove it, or you're gonna yeah. get all the way to the end and go, well, God works in mysterious. Then fuck you. Yeah, yeah. you're not fucking selling me. Like, on the it, mysterious ways things can go fuck itself. Uh, it, it's a cop out. Yeah. And and you know if you believe it and that's your faith, more power to you. I, I think that's great. But, but that's it's not the a problem. selling point. That's the problem. If you, because we keep, dude, I stopped watching Maury Povich and and Jerry because nobody believes in truth. You have to, right. you have to practice truth oh, on shit. every <laughs> level, on even <laughs> on every single level. Because any deviation from that, even watching Maury Povich when it's scripted takes you to this point where you'll you'll believe some shit that's not proven you can't right you can't you have you have to have the integrity of that of truth all the time and if i don't know i mean there's a lot of stuff he's talking about i don't know okay then give me the argument that makes this probable right even probable it's not even probable like, give me something I, I think it's just like they just wear you down Yes, that's, basically what that's their gimmick. It's like fighting with your girlfriend. He'll just wear you down. You could ask a question. He starts the fight and you apologize. He'll go on, to, he'll go on to another thing. Right. And it's, I'm not just talking about... And then about he laughs. He laughs when you, when you make a point, he laughs. Right. Yeah. And then he uses science and then just uses science to make the point. And then when you don't make the... When he doesn't make the point, he shows you the app. And then, and my then, science and, is silly. And then yeah. His science is absolutely... Uh, Anthony, uh, right, right. Oh, there you oh, go. 